Hey guys, so I just finished my last assignment for the semester. I have one more final tomorrow and then I am done for two weeks. But still, I have a two week break, which is pretty nice. I really need it right about now. And so, since I have nothing else to do, I thought I would film a video for you. It took me a while to figure out exactly what I wanted to talk about and I finally decided that I really want to talk about my new summer project. And so, for those of you who don't know, I have worked at a camp for the past four years, since I was like 17. Well, I turned 18 that summer, so. And this is the first summer that I'm not working there. I'm taking summer classes, I need them to graduate, and I'm kind of a little heartbroken about it, and at the same time quite relieved. It, I was growing up, and I was ready to leave and I needed something new in my life and so on that level I'm happy that I'm leaving but at the same time I'm gonna miss it a whole bunch the few people who are returning this summer I love to death and I just I don't know I can't imagine my summer without it but so that's what gave me the inspiration for my new summer project it's always been an ongoing joke with my work friends that I would be the one to write a memoir about what it's like to work at a camp. And I always just took it in stride, oh haha ha, they're making fun of the English major, you know, whatever, I worked here longer than anyone else has. Not anymore after this summer, one person's catching up to me. But you know, at the time I had worked there longer than anyone else had consecutively and I thought they were just, you know, ragging on me. But I was talking to a friend of mine the other night and he's a writer friend and he was like, why don't you? Why don't you write your memoirs of camp, you know? And so I started thinking about it, and, well, why don't I? I mean, I don't necessarily intend for them to get published, but it's a way for me to wrap up this section of my life, and I'm getting ready to graduate from college, and move on, and grow up, and it's a good way to just kind of seal it all off. Currently, my notebook of notes, right now I have, um, really nothing. I have, I'm tr working on writing out the staff members from each year and just trying to get my thoughts down. I asked on Facebook the other day with a bunch of my work people, I asked them what they, what stories they remembered and what they thought should be included if I were to actually get this project going. And my Facebook was blowing up for about 24 hours of, oh, well, you remember when this happened, and you remember when this happened, blah, 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 so much. And there's just so many memories, and there's so many emotions in it. And I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. Let me know if you'd be interested in ever reading something like this. I don't even know that I would attempt to get it published. I think I would more just do it for myself and for my coworkers and just to have something to kind of symbolize all the years I put into it. But maybe I would try to get it published. I think I would finish it first and just see what I want to do. Like the people I work with are already like, well, you know, you can put um, pictures in the middle of the book and we'll include, we'll send you this picture. We'll s I was like, whoa guys, I don't even have one page written. I've started some notes. Let's not worry about what's going to happen when it's getting published because I don't even know that it will ever get to that point. But yeah, so that's my current project for the summer on top of my summer classes but in this channel. But other than that, you know, I really haven't written anything in quite a while and it's time to get back in the saddle and this is a good place to start. So yeah, I'll talk to you later.